Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Today I have a pepper sauce I'm going to be reviewing that features the Butchalokia or the ghost pepper. And I just really love the flavor of the ghost pepper uh, in a hot sauce or any pepper sauce. Now the one I'm going to be reviewing today really does a fantastic job of capturing the flavor and the heat of the Butchalokia in a sauce. Now this is another review for Chuck Evans and his company Montezuma Brand Sauces and Salsas. I've uh, been doing this since 1986. Now he is uh, Ohio's oldest and original and one of America's longest operating salsa and chili pepper sauce manufacturers. So that's just awesome. Make sure you check out my first review that I did for Chuck uh, when I reviewed his Smoky Chipotle pepper sauce. Just an outstanding product. Get a little bit more information on Chuck and his company. Now this is a very cool label. There's a lot going on in this label that I, I didn't uh, see right away. Uh, but that is a, a wooden um, a mask or trophy uh, that the Naga Warriors uh, would wear. And uh, he's got it written right down here on the side or on the bottom. It says, Early 19th Century Naga Warrior Trophy Chest Ornament Awarded for Taking... Uh, enemy, the enemy's head in battle or a raid. Uh, so that's just really awesome. And uh, he's got uh, along the side here and along the top around the label the uh, some names here. He's got um, Nagaland, Bi, India, Assam, uh, Bhutan, Manipur, India, King Cobra, Chile. Um, Naga Morich, so just a lot going on in this label, but really awesome looking label on this one. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the ingredients. Uh, the sodium is very low, only 50 milligrams for this, uh, this hot sauce. Now the ingredients, we start off with chili peppers. Don't know exactly what kind other than the ghost peppers, but then we have uh, ghost jalokia chili, distilled vinegar, garlic, spices, and salt. So a very uh, basic uh, vinegar-based pepper sauce, which I happen to love. Uh, one of my favorite types of hot sauces. So as you can see, uh, you get the very loose consistency. Uh, this is one that did, did come with a flow restrictor. This is one you want to, you know, use, but I took it off for the purpose of this review. Now, wow, the first thing I notice is that I smell the butt. You actually can smell the ghost pepper in this. Get a little bit of that sour tartness from the vinegar, which is to be expected in a pepper sauce. I like that about it. But you really can smell the the uh, aroma of the butchalokia. A little bit of the garlic and the spices that are in here. Yeah, the, the butchalokia really comes across really nice. All right, let's be careful and get this on a spoon. As you can see, you want to use the flow restrictor. All right, here we go. A nice big spoonful. Mm. Wow. Heat, right away, the heat engulfs the whole mouth with that butchalokia heat, butchalokia flavor. Nice um, pepper sauce flavor. It's not too salty at all. It's a little bit tart from the vinegar, but the, I, I expect it to be that way. That's what I like about it. But it is just pure ghost pepper chili. I don't know what the other peppers that are in here, but um, I'm just really tasting the flavor and the heat of the ghost pepper. Um, as you can see, my eyes are kind of um, starting to maybe tear up a little bit, but uh, you can really feel it all over the mouth. Um, if you like the ghost pepper, if you like heat, if you like a true pepper sauce, then this one is really, really good. Um, just outstanding flavor. Let me show you what I did with this. Now this would make the perfect table sauce um, if you're a Tabasco fan, if you're a pepper sauce fan, but you want something that really has a whole lot more heat and really captures the flavor of the Butchalokia, this is the one you want to get. Um, this was awesome on um, uh, breakfast burritos. There's a picture right there of uh, some fully loaded breakfast burritos that I put this on and it's really good. I also made some um, kind of a southwestern style chicken uh, rice um, dish with some black beans and I put this on there as well and it's very very good so this is awesome for stoops, stoops, soups and stews I can't talk um, 
rice dishes. Things will soak up the uh, the pepper sauce. Fantastic on eggs in the morning. So uh, really, really good. Um, another awesome pepper sauce from Chuck Evans. I'm going to give this a strong 9 out of 10 for flavor. And on heat, you know, I think it's it's upper medium for sure. It's going to be a lot, a lot hotter than that for most people. Uh, but I would say... Um, Six out of ten, six to seven out of ten. I think I'll go with a strong um, six out of ten for heat. Very good uh, flavor and, and really a, a decent amount of heat on this one. So um, check this stuff out. Highly recommended from Montezuma brand uh, sauces and salsas. Uh, check him out on Facebook. Give him a like. Website is Montezuma brand. Link will be down in the description. Thank you, Chuck, for sending it. I appreciate it. And everybody, thanks for watching. And until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.